Trains are really bad at climbing hills. Putting steel wheels on steel rails means slipping to a standstill. Still, there are a number of railways in the world that claim to be the steepest. Surely there can only be one that can hold this title. Some of these claims fall down to marketing, trying to make visitor numbers climb by gripping onto a world record. Well, let's sift through the technicalities to find the true steepest railway in the world. Starting at the bottom with something local. The steepest railway in the UK is said to be the Deep Mine Tour at Lequeth Slate Quarry in North Wales. This takes passengers down into the caverns, where, of course, at the bottom you can play crazy golf, 500 feet underground. There's one train lifted up and down by a cable at the top. Their website says that they are the steepest railway in Europe, but we'll get onto that soon. Down on the other side of the world is another mining railway. The Katoomba coal mine opened in 1878 in the Blue Mountains of Australia. A cable railway was cut to take the coal up from the Jamison Valley floor, which to this day survives to carry passengers. At a staggering 52 degrees, visitors have the option to tilt their seats back for comfort, or to lean into the drop for a thrill. After all, what are incline railways if not the world's first roller coasters? In fact, the whole of scenic world in Katoomba is dedicated to novel ways of seeing the expanse landscape on the valley edge. You can go down by the railway, up again via a cable car, then across a waterfall on a horizontal car as well. There's even an abandoned roller coaster project called the Orphan Rocker that never opened because it didn't meet safety regulation. If that's not unnerving enough, take a look at how the buffer stops at the end of the scenic railway end hanging over the cliff edge. Ugh. This ex-mine railway does sit in the Guinness World Records book as the steepest railway in the world. But of course, it's not as simple as that. Like the one in North Wales, the line in New South Wales has only one train hauled up and down by a cable from a winch at the top. This means that some have argued that really it's just a glorified lift system or elevator. Take your pick. The rule is that a true funicular system has to have at least two trains ascending and descending on the same cable. Enter Switzerland, an obvious contender for finding the steepest train journeys. And funiculars too, if that alps. There has been one of these between the town of Schwiz and the mountain village of Stuss since 1933 but it took a longer, windy route with a 40 degree climb. Still not bad. In 2017, the line was replaced by a more direct route, which went straight to the mountain resort's center. This rises at 47.7 degrees, which, for those that don't know, is pretty steep. So much so that engineers reinvented the wheel. Passenger compartments on the train are a cylinder which rotate on the journey so that people and goods aren't thrown against the wall. Unlike the Katoomba system, there are two vehicles that pass in the middle of the line, both connected by the same wire, like the original gravity-powered incline system. However, 
you still might think that this is cheating because at the end of the day, it's still a cable that's pulling the trains up. Well, the Swiss have it all covered because they also have the steepest rack railway system. The Pilatus railway isn't as steep as the Stussbahn, coming in at 25.6 degrees, but the cars are powered by their own wheels. To prevent them slipping, a rack and pinion system makes sure that they always grip the rails, with power being fed by overhead electricity wires. Originally opened in 1937, steam power was used instead to push people to the top, just like the system at Snowdon Mountain Railway, which has a steepest point of 10.4 degrees. Whilst the trains here do power themselves, the cogs mean that it's still far from a conventional railway. All you need to do is to look at their traversing point systems to see that. Going back to basics, the steepest railway that relies purely on wheels rolling on rails isn't really a railway. Further south in Europe are the very recognisable Lisbon trams of Portugal, which have been dodging carefree drivers since 1873. Originally horse-drawn and steam-powered, the classic postcard look is these electric trams that took to the rails from 1901. Power is again fed from overhead wires, but there's no middle rail or cable to assist this time. At its worst, trams have to tackle 8.3 degrees cobbled slopes, which is of course as much as a problem going up as it is going down. As they are singular vehicles, with all of the weights going on their own wheels, rather than having to pull rolling stock separately, they are able to grip far better than typical trains could. The steepest railway line is really up for debate depending on its uses, but a likely case is for the Cass Scenic Railroad in West Virginia, which climbs at 6.2 degrees along an old logging industry route. For comparison, the famous Licky Incline on the UK mainline is a mere 1.5 degrees, but trains using this carry far heavier loads and at much greater speeds. These record claims are, of course, only true if you don't believe in the true almighty winner of steep climbs. The ridiculous Gordon's Hill in CGI Thomas. Ain't no way a train's getting up that. Just build a tunnel at that point. So, to break it all down, even though cases can still be argued, steepest funicular railway, Stussbahn, Switzerland, at 47.7 degrees. Steepest cable incline, Katoomba Scenic Railway, at 52 degrees. Steepest rack railway, the Pilatus Rack Railway in Switzerland, at 25.6 degrees. Steepest adhesion railway, the Lisbon Tramway, at 8.3 degrees and the steepest conventional railway, the Cass Scenic Railroad, at 6.2 degrees. What's the steepest train journey that you've ever been on? Or would you argue that there are other contenders for these titles instead? Let me know in the comments, and visit patreon.com forward slash terrier55stepney to get early access to all of my videos, and get your name read out at the end of each one as a thank you for supporting the channel. Join me on the first Friday of each month for another guide rail, exploring the world's steam-powered history. Many thanks to my brilliant channel patrons, Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Random Thomas Fan, Dark White 73, Andrew Dyack, Jude 72. Reese Lee Walter and Ivory Green 456.